Hello ka wow mat. sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin yung basic properties of logarithms. So, our objectives, apply basic properties of logarithms and solve problems involving logarithmic equations. Let b and x be real numbers such that b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. The basic properties of logarithm are as follows. First, your logarithm of 1 with base b is equal to 0. So, tatandaan, kapag 1 ang value nito, automatic yung logarithm natin is equal to 0. Next, logarithm of b raised to x with base b is equal to x. So, ang tatandaan nyo naman dito, kapag yung value nito pareho sa base natin, so kung ano yung exponent that is our logarithm. So, yun ang sagot natin. If x is greater than 0, then b raised to logarithm of x with base b. So, kapag same ito, okay, yung base natin dito, and then yung base dito, that is, basta yung x natin greater than 0, the answer is kung ano yung nakalagay na number dyan. So, that is equal to x. Okay? So, ito yung tatlong properties ng logarithm. So, use the basic properties of logarithms to find the value of the following logarithmic expression. For example, logarithm of 10. So, ka, sa ganitong example, wala tayo nakikitang base. So, ito ay halimbawa ng common logarithm. So, kapag common logarithms, yung base natin ay 10. So, that is logarithm of 10 with base 10. So, saan galing yung 1? So, ibig sabihin, hindi lang natin nakikita but ito ay may exponent na 1. So, therefore, so, under property number, so, anong property to? Property number 2, so, kung anong exponent natin, that is our logarithm. So, therefore, logarithm of 10 is equal to 1 under the property number 2. No? Under property 2, so, ibig sabihin, uh, kung same yung value nito at same yung base natin, kung anong exponent natin, that is our logarithm. Tandaan? So, that is under property 2. Next, logarithm of 64 with base 4. So, paano natin gagawin? So, si 64 pwede natin express as 4 cube. Bakit? So, if, pag minultiply natin ng tatlong beses, yung 4, 4 times 4, that is 16 times 4, 64. So, same yung value natin na to at yung base natin. Therefore, uh, kung ano yung exponent natin, that is our logarithm. So, Log 64 with base 4 is equal to 3 under property 2. Okay? Letter C. 5 logarithm of 2 with uh, 5 raised to logarithm of 2 with base 5. So, kitang kita naman. So, this the it's our if this is greater than 0, so therefore uh, and then ang tinitingnan niyo dito kapag ito ay pareho dito. So, kapag parehas yan, kung ano yung nakalagay na number dyan, yan yung logarithm natin. That is equal to 2. So, under property number 3. Okay? Next, logarithm of 1. So, logarithm of 1. So, common logarithm again to. So, pag common logarithm, so, ang base natin ay 10. Pero, since 1 na yung volume mo dito, so, kahit ano pa yung base mo dyan, uh, basta yung base mo ay greater than 0 and not equal to 1 So, kahit anong value pa ng base, basta 1 to Automatic your logarithm is 0 sa under property number 1 Ito So, kahit anong base mo dyan Basta 1 ito, automatic plus your logarithm ay 0 Okay I'll give you some uh, problems na pwede natin uh, i-apply yung basic properties. Okay, itong mga problem na to ay na-discuss na natin sa previous video natin about application of logarithms in real-life situation. Suppose you have seats to a concert featuring your favorite musical artist. Calculate the approximate decibel level associated if a typical concert sound intensity is 10 raised to negative 2 watts per square meter. Okay, using the formula, so kung alalahanin nyo, uh, D is equal to 10 times the logarithm of I over 10 raised to negative 12. 
So, substitute natin yung given natin at 10 raised to negative 2 dun sa i natin. It will become 10 times logarithm of 10 raised to negative 2. So, papalitan natin to nung sa given natin. Over 10 raised to negative 12. And after that, so since same yung base natin, anong gagawin sa exponent kapag nagdi-divide tayo? Okay, subtract natin yung exponent natin. So, negative 2 minus negative 12. So, magiging ano yan? 10 raised to 10. Kasi negative 2 minus negative 12. So, magiging negative plus 12 na yun. And that is positive 10. Okay, so after that... Kunin natin yung value nito, yung logarithm of 10 raised to 10. So, under property number 2, so sabi sa property number 2, kapag yung, since this is common logarithm, so ang base natin dito ay 10, so anong value nito? That is 10. Okay, di ba kung ano yung exponent nito? Kapag same yung base natin at yung value na to, so yung logarithm natin yung exponent. Ah, yung exponent natin dito, that is our logarithm or yung sagot natin dyan. So, therefore, that is 10 times 10. So, 10 times 10, that is 100. Ibig sabihin, a concert's decibel level is 100 decibels. Okay? Next. Calculate the hydrogen ion concentration of vinegar has pH level of 3.0. So, ito ay na-discuss din. Uh, doon sa previous video lesson natin about application of logarithms. So, using this formula, so, pH is equal to, so, itong pH level, we're going to identify kung acidic ba, neutral, or basic. Okay. So, negative logarithm, so, ito ay, I, I don't know what symbol is this, basta in chemistry, that is an ion. Okay. And after that, we can substitute the given. So, yung pH level down natin is 3.0 is equal to negative log and this, uh, ito yung kukuni natin. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. So, paano natin ma-identify? Since negative to, we need to multiply both sides by negative 1. So, magiging negative 3.0. So, para maging positive siya. Kasi kaila, ito yung kailangan natin kunin. And after that, para makuha natin to, okay, para makuha natin uh, yung hydrogen ion. So, this is hydrogen ion, right, by the way. So, kailangan natin iparehas yung base natin. So, gawin natin yung base natin. Gawin natin itong uh, 10 yung base natin. So, that will become 10 raised to negative 3.0 is equal to 10 raised to ito, lagay lang natin as exponent, logarithm of the hydrogen ion. Okay, so anong property para makuha natin yung value nito? So, property number 3. So, ibig sabihin, ma-identify na natin to Okay? So, yung hydrogen ion is equal to 10 raised to negative 3.0. Therefore, the hydrogen ion concentration is 10 Raise to negative 3.0 moles per liter. Okay. Okay, using the basic properties of logarithms, find the value of the following logarithmic expression. So, I'll give you five questions here. So, pwede nyo i-post yung video, sagutan nyo muna, and after that, i-play ulit para makita yung sagot. Ang maganda na rin na identify nyo para kung anong property yan. Okay, so ito yung sagot sa 5 questions. So kapag na-perfect nyo, congratulations in advance. Pwede nyo i-share yung score nyo sa comment section ng video na to. Kahit 1 man yan, kahit 2, 3, or 4 ang nakuha nyo. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.